Nutella. This is just a really, really, really quick video, or well, I'll try to make a quick video, about um, what I use on my face. Well, foundation wise, I mean. Um, and basically, to get this, I don't know what you call it, like this look, I don't know if it's like a look, it's just basically like. Basically, I use a stippling brush to apply my foundation. Um, um, this is the stippling brush. It's a really, really good investment. I would highly recommend this for people who use foundation. Um, not only can you use it for foundation, but you can use it for mineral powder, or you can use it to contour your face, or you can use it as a blusher brush. Um, and what I really like about this is the fact that it's got really, really soft hairs. Um, and it gives you that airbrush effect look um, and although this is quite expensive, this one is the MAC 187 this is the larger size that they've got um, this was quite expensive, this was I think £28 and um, the cheaper option is one really identical to this from Superdrug I think it's the brand is called um, QVS and it costs about £7.50 or £11 it's somewhere between that um, and it looks exactly the same as this. This is top is supposed to be white, but it's not white at the moment because I've I used it this morning. Um, and I use this instead of using a foundation brush, which looks like this. It's quite thick the hairs. So when I'm applying this onto my face, the foundation is too thick. Um, you can use your fingers but I don't like to use the foundations although it's good because it warms up the foundation it's not good because you're collecting a lot of bacteria and you're putting it onto your face and especially if you have like open um, you know pores or if you've got spots or cuts, wounds, whatever you've got on your face you're putting all that bacteria along with the foundation into your skin and ideally you don't want to do that so um, and you should always clean your brushes well, I try to clean mine every day before I use it. Um, and you can use those makeup disposable sponges, like little white triangle type things. Um, but I find that if I'm using them, um, it gets quite expensive because you're buying another packet, then you're buying another packet, then you're using another packet. So, stippling brush is the way to go. And what you do is this. Um, for me, Okay, the foundation I have here is the Max Factor Second Skin Foundation and this is a shade darker than what my skin tone actually is. So what I do is, you can mix this in with moisturising cream, white one, uh, but because I already applied moisturising cream on before I apply the foundation, I don't need to do that. So what you do is you get a small um, spritz bottle, spray one pump into your hand and then put one pump or half a pump of the foundation onto your hand, get your stippling brush, mix it in and then what you do is you just put it on your face like this and then you just stipple, put it in and then you just swirl it around your face and that usually takes me about a minute and then yeah it saves a lot of money I think on the foundation because usually like when I use this foundation I used to use it with my fingers or with this um, foundation brush and I used to use about two pumps each day but I find that when I'm using the stippling brush I only need to use one pump and little goes a long way so it saves me money there although these brushes are quite expensive or you just get the QVS one it is a really really good investment because you can use this for um, mineral powders you just swirl it around your face or you can use it to contour your cheeks or you can use it as a blusher brush so totally up to you you can use your bronzer and apply it all over your face um, so yeah, and the hairs are really, really soft. Can't stop putting it on my face. So um, yeah, so I would recommend this to people. And that's my secret to getting skin. I don't know if you can see. I know I always. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I'm just making sure that you can see it. So yeah, that's the secret. So go and buy one and try it out especially for those people who use foundation every day it really does make such a difference to your face and a lot of people always ask me you know how come you know my skin looks flawless or what do I use on my face and basically if I was to use mineral powder or foundation it's this brush or I have the Encore one which looks like this this is also this can be used as a stippling brush it probably is a stippling brush I don't know it's for the face I'm face it too 
This one is a lot harder to buy than this one. This one, I mean, you could get Mac stuff from almost anywhere, but the Encore one, I bought this online. Although this was cheaper than that one, I, I like them both. This one, the Encore one, I like because the hairs are a lot softer, as you can see. But this one is, the hairs are quite stiff, but, um, I don't know, I just like the shape of this one. So, yeah. Well, I just use whichever one's the cleanest. So, yeah, I would recommend you to get a stippling brush, and that's what I use my skin. So, go out and buy one and try it out. So, hope this video has helped. And um, keep coming in with the request, and I shall see you soon. Bye!